Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is based upon a request by an end user. Uh, the person wants me to create a video that talks about how to create a custom catalog uh, and then publish it on a network drive location as well as creating a tool palette from the catalog library. So um, for this video, I'm using AutoCAD Architecture 2021. The reason I'm using AutoCAD Architecture is because when you go over to the tool palettes, down at the bottom, you'll see Content Browser right here. If I head over to different tabs, you also have the same button, uh, and they just go specifically to uh, that category. Okay, So for example, if I click More Doors Tools, it'll go straight to opening up the catalog and going to that design tool catalog imperial for doors if you click the home button you're back at the default okay if i start at the design tab and i click content browser i can get to that catalog as well now the initially the video request from the user uh, is because uh, the person was looking at another video that i created that was called AutoCAD 2020 Custom Tool Palette Creation. Um, that was AutoCAD, not AutoCAD Architecture. Um, in AutoCAD, you don't have the Content Browser and the Tool Catalog. Um, you do have Design Center, so I would think I was a little confused, or the user was a little confused as to, you know, how to create this kind of new content within AutoCAD. So this is AutoCAD 2022, and I'll go start a new drawing. And if we open up the tool palettes here, and you scroll all the way to the bottom, there are no catalogs in any of the tabs. So you can't really do tool catalogs in AutoCAD 2022, vanilla AutoCAD. You can use the catalog functionality in the ACA product, AutoCAD architecture. In AutoCAD, you can right click and create a new tool palette if you want to. And that's fairly simple. You just create it, call it whatever you want. And then you can start adding all the blocks and commands and other things that you want in there. Um, and then if you look at it, you head over to view options. You can see things like um, the image size, the icon, icon with text, list view, things like that. Okay, and then to make this something that's on the network drive location and share it out, all you have to do is make sure you have the name of the tool palette, you remember what the name of it is, um, and go to that specific file location and copy that information to your network drive and then tell the AutoCAD software this is where you go to um, pull that data. And so if I right click under the options and go to options for AutoCAD and we go to files we can see where it has the template file locations so you have to scroll and look a little bit um, tool palettes we're looking for tool palettes author oh, here you go tool palette file location so the default location is on your local hard drive <clears throat> you can add another location and browse to your network drive location. So let's just say my network drive location is my D drive temp folder, and I'm gonna make a new folder in here and pretend that this is a server. Uh, and then you can just click open, and that path will always be there for AutoCAD to search for the tool palette, the new tool palette. And if you wanna make it read only, all you have to do is right click the file and go into the properties and make it read only. Okay, so if this is the default location um, and I head over to that location with Windows Explorer, so we'll go to the C drive, users, <clears throat> app data. App data is a hidden folder, so you need to make sure you can um, view your hidden content. Heading over to that location, we want uh, AutoCAD 2022, R424, ENU, support, tool palette. So this um, tool palette file called ATC, 
when you make your own custom palette, which I just deleted, they're going to be called .atc. All you have to do is grab this file, copy, paste it to your network drive location, right click it, go to properties, and check for read only if you don't want people to mess it up. Okay? Um, now, that is all based upon AutoCAD, not AutoCAD architecture. Okay, so I'm going to remove this and put everything back to the default for me for AutoCAD for teaching purposes. And then I'm going to close AutoCAD 2022. Now we're going to go back into um, AutoCAD architecture. Okay, so this is AutoCAD architecture 2021. Um, now I'm not using AutoCAD architecture 2022 because there's a weird flaw in the software I just found out about doing this. So I'm going to do this in AutoCAD 2021. I started a brand new drawing and there's nothing in it. And I head over to my uh, tool palettes and as you can see you can right click the binding and go to design, documentation, visualization, all tool palettes if you want to and you'll see a whole bunch of them. All you have to do is go down and click content browser. It will open up your catalog. Okay and it's going to give you all the standard catalogs that get installed uh, when you install the software. And you have one that's your own custom blank one called My Tool Catalog. So if you click inside, um, you can go through the process of either creating uh, a new category and then put content in it. You can create a new package um, in that um, location and you can also create a new palette right off the bat. So I'm going to delete this one, and we're going to make a new one. So we're going to go ahead and click this command to create a new palette in the current catalog. It's going to ask for the name. We're going to call it uh, My Custom Palette for Fun. And then we put in here, you know, uh, Custom Blocks for Testing. Okay, and then you can put in any kind of keyword, you can put in the publisher, you hit OK, and now you have a blank tool palette. So you click inside the tool palette and you want to start putting in commands. So you can head back over to the tool palette here, right click any command that's already here, copy it to your clipboard. Um, I'm using Alt to Tab to jump back to my tool catalog, right click and paste. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a few commands like this, copy, paste and then maybe one more copy paste all right so now that i have in my custom tool catalog my tool palette um, how do i go about uh, making sure that i can publish the catalog library and how do i create a tool palette from that catalog library so if i want to create a say a tool palette um, one of these tabs over here because over here in AutoCAD Architecture, you can't right click and say create new tool palette. It's kind of weird. Um, so you can create a new one from the content browser or from Design Center as well. So I'm going to right click the tool catalog. And if I head over to Properties, I can see the data and everything that we typed about earlier. I can hover over the icon and click Add to Tool Palette, or I can right click and say Add to Tool Palette give it a second and what happens is it creates one and it puts it in there and it calls it my custom tool palette for fun. Okay, I can go to the properties and again I can see the uh, refresh from tool catalog, enable auto refresh if any of the commands get updated. Um, it gives you the name and then the description and if you click more information it just gives you basic data. Click OK and now you have a new custom tool palette based upon the tool catalog. So I'm going to head back over to the content browser again. And then um, it's go it may give you this very weird um, hiccup. Um, and this is the hiccup that it came up with in 2022 as well. And the reason is because it's looking under uh, this location here. So if I open up Windows Explorer and go to our... D drive because my software is installed on my D drive and I go to my users 
and I go to my name, I go to my documents, and it says it's looking for ACA, um, it's not going to be in there. It has to be under Autodesk, My Content Browser, ACA 2021 or 2022. See? So its pathing is off. It doesn't recognize it like that. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a little of a weird trick to uh, fix this error. I'm going to, because ACA 2022 had the same problem, I grabbed the ACA 2021 and 22 catalog default content and copied them and pasted them on top of each other so that um, it would kind of like um, reset it, if you will. So the content that's in here is actually from 2021. So I'm going to close AutoCAD architecture. And then we're going to grab all this content. I'm going to copy it. This is just a, a temporary fix until I can get Autodesk to figure out what's going on. Go back to ACA 2021. And then I'm going to right click and paste and overwrite all of the content. Then I'm going to open up AutoCAD Architecture 2021 again. And now if we go through, through the same procedure, we should be okay. So let's see. See, so because I blew it away, that catalog it can't be refreshed, you see. So here it's failed because it can't figure that data out. So I'm going to delete that. And we're going to go again. So scroll down, head over to Content Browser. It opens up the catalog. Um, we can, by the way, right-click that catalog and go to Properties. And you'll see it has the name of the catalog. The description, you can resize this window so it's easier to see. Um, and file and target location and so on. So you can actually publish this information once you've established the data inside. You can right click and publish the to a catalog. Okay, and we'll do that second. So let's go back into my to a catalog. This is a new category with nothing in it. We're going to create a new palette. We'll leave it at new palette. We'll just call it test. We'll go into the palette and we'll right click a command, copy, right click paste, do another one, right click copy, paste there. So now that we have that data, we can go back to um, the catalog and this category, I'm just going to rename this category as being, you know, test category. Within there, I can go ahead and click Add to Tool Palette. It creates it, calls it New Palette without a problem. If you right-click it and go to Properties, you'll see the data. You can connect, click Enable Auto Refresh so it updates the data every single time you load AutoCAD Architecture. And then going back to our Content Browser, for us to um, publish the information. We're going to go back to our test category, main category, uh, I'm sorry, to my tool catalog. And we're going to say publish my tool catalog. And we're going to copy it to another location because I don't want to actually mess up my default installation for teaching purposes. I'm not going to move it. I'm not going to leave it in its current. I'm going to copy it so that there's another set of it in a network drive location mapped location like your server. So I'm going to say copy to another location, click next, specify that location, which is going to be my uh, fake server location, which is D drive temp, and I'll say server. I'll hit next, and then it asks for specifying the root location where tool dependent files such as drawing drawings containing styles will be located for this catalog. In other words, um, the location where all of the dependent files that contain those commands and those blocks and content exists, which is going to be the same location. You need to make sure those files are in the same location. So I'm going to browse and again, go to the D drive, put it on my fake server, hit next, and then it's going to automatically say directly from this specific location. But for you, for a server, you can say mapped location. That way it knows it's a map location. Okay, because I did this based upon my secondary internal drive, D drive. But for a server location, you want to pick mapped drive and then specify that map drive location. So 
a lot of people have like the Z drive as a mapped drive location. Okay. And then you can also set it to be read only so nobody messes it up. Um, and you can set the items in the catalog to not to be refreshable if they drag and drop it into the workspace. So just kind of a way to protect the data and that way they don't mess it up and you can have control over it. When you click finish, it's going to go ahead and build you another identical to a catalog, but this one is mapping to the network drive location, whereas this one is being uh, mapped to the local uh, local computer, My Documents. So if you get confused, you may want to right-click and go to Properties um, and see if you can rename it. Um, I, I don't think that one you can rename because it's a map drive location. This one you can rename it. You know, you can say my to a catalog local location, something like that. That way you can kind of, because visually you won't tell the difference between the two, okay? Um, and then the image, you can right click and specify an image and pick something else, right? So you can, you know, um, I'll just pick a, an image. I'll go to pictures and we'll put this one. And then OK. That way I know that that one is specifically for me, for my content, whereas this one is for the map drive location. OK? Um, so hopefully you can understand the video and, and how to go about the process of creating a custom catalog, creating a custom tool palette, taking that custom tool palette and placing it inside the tool palettes over here on my left. Um, so you have commands and you can function and work with it. And then also knowing how to publish that to a catalog to a network drive location. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, just contact me. All right. Thank you very much for watching.